There is a, um, another topic I'd like to introduce to you rather briefly. I won't have time to demo it, but I would encourage you to demo it to yourselves. They have ferromagnetic um, scanning equipment. Now, I think metal detectors have absolutely no role in MR environments at all. They're, they're useless. They're, they're a waste of time. They don't find anything that's worth anything in, in, in real life. They're just as useless as in MR environments as they are in airports. But there is a new kind of metal detector the last five or so years called a ferromagnetic detector. Now, ferromagnetic detectors detect only metals that find themselves, in a sense, attracted to magnetic fields. Now, that's an entirely different story. And I, as well as the ACR Safety Committee, as well as the, um, as you'll hear in a moment, the um, Joint Commission, now that is something I think is appropriate for us to be aware of. And, and frankly, I use them and suggest that others use them in their screening. This is from Mednovis Corporation. This is when it's silent, and this is when it's alarming. It changes red, lights going off, tells you which part of it is alarming and makes all these noises, and you want to throw a shoe at it, as long as it has no metal tax on the shoe. And this is also from Mednovis Corporation. This is a handheld ferromagnetic scanner. We purchased, I believe, 17 of these for the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center. This is what it looks like when it's silent. And taking that particle that I just showed you from that patient and putting on a piece of paper right next to the detector and you see it's alarming, it makes a noise, it's quite disturbing, etc. So yes, it certainly brings to your attention something even quite that tiny it can find. The Joint Commission came out with a paper specifically um, dealing with MRI safety accidents. This was on February 14, 2008. And bless you. And in this, they quote extensively from the literature that radiology has written about this, including and especially the ACR's documentation and the ACR's recommendation, most of which they seem to have essentially just cut and pasted to. Number one injury in an MR environment today, thermal. Now, I agree that that's the number one reported adverse event. I'm not convinced it's the number one source of injury in MR environments. I believe there may be many, many more projectile events still occurring that if it's serious enough, they try to settle without going to report and without going to trial. If there are questions, I'll be glad to try to take a few. Would screening for zone three, would going through a ferromagnetic detector suffice? Listen very carefully because I seem to have misled you. My opinion is that these devices are fantastic. They have found things after my text. And with tremendous respect to you, I have the best text in the world. <laughs> Yours are second best. <laughs> I have the best text in the world. Could you imagine what life must be like working with me? <laughs> these guys, these guys are darn good. And... I have had my techs screen clear the way we've set up the research studies for the we've tested all these devices I showed you formal prospective blinded and we've had our techs screen you're done you're finished cleared cut let's bring them in and before you bring them in one last screen through these devices eh, 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 and find something that the patient denied was there it is in my opinion a tremendous adjunct and it is extremely helpful it is never as of today to be used as the only screen it is in addition not instead Thank you very much for your time and thank you for your attention.